How come the Murray always gets the easy missions? Or maybe they're not easy. Maybe I just find them to be easy. Maybe those are the missions that I'm just simply good at. I don't know. Ah, another Murray mission. Awesome. Maybe I can sabotage some more planes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. That way it's not 30 against 1. Actually, right now it should be 29 against 1 since I just destroyed that one. Maybe if I destroy some more, even the odds are a little bit better. Yes, yes. Ah, Murray. I've been working to get our hangar security devices online, and they're almost operational. Unfortunately, my internet pal Penelope heard a rumor that a rival air team might be stopping by to do mischief to our plane. Mischief makers? Coming here? If you could stay and watch while I finish getting the systems online, that would be great. Yes! You're not Brainiac, chum! You'll be safe while my fists are on... duty? Greetings, troglodytes! Didn't think I forgot about Mesa City, did you? I figure you jerks let me smash up your aeroplane and we're even. You and what army, dumb guy? Army? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, boys. I paid you off good enough. Time to crack some skulls. Murray, you can't hurt Mugshot with your fists. Try using the switch in the middle of the hangar. Oh, crap. This can't be good. Oh, that was simple enough. I already damaged them. These doors ain't holding themselves open. But but the, but the Murray doesn't like relying on tricks. Why do I have to? Oh. Okay, I'm actually receiving a bit of damage. Good gosh and golly. Good gosh and golly, really? Since when do these guys learn Molotov cocktails? Holy crap. The Murray can do backflips. Maybe the Murray is about finesse. Now, get that okay, I'm not doing so well right now. Why? Funny how not two minutes ago I was saying how good I am at the Murray missions, and now look what's happening. I'm getting my ass kicked. And being hit from behind doesn't really help things, does it? Okay, Moran. I know that the Murray hates to run, but in this situation I have no choice. Well? Murray, you can't hurt Mugshot with your fists. Try using the switch in the middle of the hangar. Well, good news. Mugshot doesn't really have his gun this time. Okay, I'm not... I really am not doing that well. I need to be relying on throwing stuff. That might help a little bit. More than anything else, I need to go after these guys with the spitting fire. That's what's really getting me. Murder that ball of fat. And it might help, I don't know, if I actually pick up some health. That's just a pro tip. Yeah, avoid the fire. Like I said, that's what's getting me. My deterious Maximus, it's out of whack! No, he was almost in the fire. There we go. And I'm almost at full health. I am at full health. I'm not at full health. <laughs> That'll get him. One more. Nope. I saw the water hitting me, or the gasoline, whatever that is. Hope it's not water, because water's not supposed to be flammable. No, I should be going my ball form right now. That's a lot more fun for killing enemies. Alright, bye bye, mugshot. Oh! Right in the solar plexus. Don't think this is over, Meatball. You're not untouchable. This is just the beginning of a really bad day. Mugshot wasn't making idle threats. I'm reading multiple hostiles moving through the sewers toward our position. Fortunately, my security devices are almost online. I'll just have time for a quick test. Let's see, I can switch between computers by moving the left analog stick. And now to test the security by pressing the triangle button, circle button, X button, or square button. I can activate the traps for the currently selected sewer. Hmm, 
they appear to take a few seconds to recharge after being triggered. Looks like they're working perfectly, and just in time, too. Murray, they're upon us! If one gets through my trap, you'll have to take him out! Got it! The Cooper plane is as safe as a baby in its aircraft hangar crib! So, what? They've actually implemented a real-time strategy into Sly. Crap, he got away. Well, at least I got him. I don't think I'm really that worried about having to fight him. Okay, I keep messing that up. See, the little pushing thing on the left, the square there, I can't time that for some reason. Oh, oh. This is actually fairly interesting. We stopped that group, Murray, but it looks like more are on the way, and they're packing explosives. Does that mean they can blow up my traps? That might not be a good thing. I might be in danger. Okay, now I'm getting the timing right. Yeah, the fact that they're going one at a time, one place at a time, makes it a little bit easier. The Murray wants to fight someone. Ah, I messed up. Yeah, go Murray. Wait, go Bentley. Murray's not doing anything, he's bored. The Murray wants to fight. Oh crap, wrong one. Ah, I still got you. I'm not that slow. I've played a couple of real time strategies in my time. Nothing really like this, but still. The whole split screen thing's what's really providing the challenge. I don't know why I keep saying RTS Real Time Strategy, it's Defend the Castle, it's a completely different genre. Help him more, come on. Make this a challenge. Ah, twofer. Oh, he might get past. No, you won't. Okay, one got away. Two got away. Wait! Oh my god, I'm definitely screwing up right now because of the Murray. Oh my god, come on, the Murray! Yeah, a couple got past, and then as soon as they got past, I wasn't sure if I could actually use Murray to fight, and... Yeah, it, it all just got screwed up all at once right there. All it took was one person. And I was out of it. And I note to self, I cannot control the Murray in case they do get past. Because really, that is the main reason I messed up, because if you saw switching from camera to camera, that was actually me trying to zoom in on Murray, thinking maybe I could control him and fight, but it turns out he's AI only. Did not know that. If they get past, just trust that the AI of the Murray can do it. Because I really got no other choice. Gonna have to trust the AI. Go on, Murray, fight! I believe in you, I have to. If I could control you, it'd be a little bit easier, but uh, sadly, that is not the case. But can you actually imagine me trying to control two cameras and the Murray? That'd be hectic. Fun, but hectic. And I still stick to what I was saying about the split screen being fun. It's a nice challenge, but it is fun. We're halfway there, Murray. Stay sharp. Good. Good, another twofer. And you know, actually playing this, it kind of reminds me that there's actually a couple of 3D Defend the Castles that are either out now or coming out soon. There's Trenched by Double Fine, there's Starhawk, and then there's some Orc game that's already out, I think. Come on. I kind of want to say faster, but at the same time, if I do, then they will come faster, and, uh... I don't know if I'm prepared for that. 
And I think I got a two for there as well, on the right side. It's the final push, keep that place safe! Just a few bogeys left! Crap, two on the left. And this is gonna be close. Actually, I got plenty of health for the plane, I'm fine. We got him! Nice work, Murray! Mugshot will need a lot more than muscle to intimidate us! Looks like he's got muscle and mortar fire. Maybe it's time I brought in some backup. Just hope she's monitoring the ham radio frequencies. Penelope, do you read me? Are you out there? I read ya, Bentley! Uh, this is sort of an awkward first face-to-face, -face, but... But your hangar is getting attacked by some traitorous paid-off Black Baron goons. Don't worry, I won't let those honorless double-crossers hurt your team's plane. Is your RC chopper operational? Affirmative. It's deployed and airborne. You're a heck of a woman. I know. That's what my homepage says. As if we needed two arrogant nerds on the team. Don't worry, Bentley. I'll keep those traitorous guards from damaging your hangar. Oh, wait! I just installed a Yank 86 and haven't had time to read the specs. Are you familiar with the device? Absolutely! Just hit the X button to lower your cable and grab opponents. Follow the arrow to find enemies. Use the R1 button to kick on the thrusters and yank things off the ground. Sweet! I'll teach those chumps not to sell out the Black Baron. Some enemies require a few yanks to defeat. To maximize your power, boost in one direction, hold on the cable, then turn around and boost the other way. Yeah, these guys are heavy. That kind of works, but my aim on the little grappling hook's not that great. Penelope! I'm detecting incoming tanks. They could do some serious damage to our hangar. Follow the arrow to find their location. Affirmative. Those tanks are heavy. You'll have to boost back and forth several times. Way ahead of you. It wasn't so tough. We're gonna spin out of control and crash if I keep that up. Go in there. Get him, come on. Don't let him get away. The boosters! Wait, where'd that guy- there he is. I'm gonna say, where'd he go? I, kn I know I saw an arrow going this way. And yeah, I don't think I really have to go in multiple directions. Oh my god. Grab it! Okay, maybe I do. For extra damage, at least. Take that, traitor. How do we know they're working for the Black Baron? They could be working for another team. Go faster! Use the boosters! See, I could stay in one direction when I spin them out, or when I use the boosters. Oh my god. But, it doesn't do as much damage. It does a whole heck of a lot more if I swing like that and swing shot it, slingshot it. Hopefully there's not that many more. Cause, I mean, this isn't a new interesting concept, but at the same time, I'm not that great at it. Mind the gap. Mind the gap? Is that what she said? Well, f thankfully this tank's not that smart, and it's hitting the wrong place. And I think I'm finally getting better with my aim. Okay, maybe not. I get him! Oh my god, there's a tank there too. I'm dead! Too many- oh my- there's- okay, there's way too many enemies. I can't get these- there's- Unless I have multiple hangers, which I highly doubt. What's up, high flyer? Oh, one more down here. Come on, quick. He's gonna make it. 
He's probably the last of all. Great job, Ooh. the Devil Bee. You're the best RC pilot I've ever seen. Ah, uh, those thugs deserved it. No one sells out the Black Baron and walks away scot-free. Okay, so technically they weren't working for the Black Baron, they were just hired away from the Black Baron. So the Black Baron is still technically a good guy, just a sore loser. So I still stick to what I said. I like the Black Baron. Now I've actually had a couple people telling me that I need to pickpocket with the Murray and pickpocket with Bentley, but here's the thing. It is too much of a hassle to pickpocket with these guys. It's a lot easier to use Sly. Ow. And see, I mess up more often than not when I'm trying to steal with the Murray. So, yeah. Now, where's my hideout? And even though I really am looking forward to doing the dogfight, I think I'm going to call it a set for now. So, I will see you tomorrow, I'm, I'm really hoping, for more of Sly 3. So until then, adios. And I don't think I can get up there from this way, can I? So how else do I get up there? Is this a trampoline? It, in fact, it is. Alright, see you next time.